Welcome back to Wittenberg Academy Latin. This is Latin 4. Uh, this will be the last uh, basic grammar course. And after Latin 4, we will be ready to read um, unabridged Latin. We'll begin with, Lord willing, with uh, Cicer or rather, Caesar's, Caesar's Gallic Wars, de Bello Gallico. Um, but there are a few more things that we need to learn. So we are beginning with lesson 91 on page 178. This is uh, a review lesson. Um, uh, it is a very good idea to read through this lesson, uh, the first part on pages 178 and 179, uh, up through part 7, and make sure that you can answer those. Uh, that is a nice review, especially if you're coming back to uh, Latin 4 after a summer break or a term break or whatever the case may be, you need a little, little refresher. Uh, this is a good point to go ahead and walk through his review and uh, make sure that you can do all those things. Because, of course, uh, on the exams and quizzes for this class, things from past classes uh, will also show up. All right, uh, on page 179 and 180 um, are some, he, he lists these as optional because they make a lot of sense and they're very easily formed, these paraphrastic uh, conjugations which correspond to the English progressive tenses. So for example in English we have three uh, present tenses. Uh, I eat, uh, I am eating, and I do eat. Uh, you know, and there are nuances of meaning between those in English. Uh, and one of them is the progressive I am eating. And uh, they have those in Latin but only with the future participle. So you can take a look at these um, there is no need to make uh, flashcards for these paradigms. As he says in his note, right at the beginning of, right before lesson 92, note, you will seldom meet with these forms, just as the equivalents in English are not often seen. They are given, however, in case you should need them. So they'll still be there on these pages in case you should need them. But actually, uh, the translation of them is very straightforward and, and very intuitive for English speakers, so there's not a lot to worry about there. So we will carry on with lesson 92. Particles. Adverbs, prepositions, conjugations, and interjections are called particles. Adverbs show how, when, and where the action of the verb takes place. They also modify adjectives and other adverbs, as falso dicera, to speak falsely, tam multa, so much. Uh, so adverbs have the same function in Latin as they do in English. And here are some classes of adverbs and a whole lot of vocabulary to get under your belt. Olive, elsewhere, eo, there, eodem, to the same place, heat, here, and so forth. Um, again, we're in Latin 4 now. We're getting to the point where, um, you know, you can pronounce all these things with ease. And so unless there's something really especially interesting in the vocabulary, I'm not going to read through the vocabulary um, every week uh, or every, uh, for every video. Um, what is interesting in this one? Uh, how about under, uh, at the bottom of the page in section 4 of this verb, perdisco. He has it as learn by heart. You can add uh, the preposition per, P-E-R, to a lot of verbs, and, and the idea is thoroughly. So disco means I learn, so perdisco means I learn thoroughly, or as he has here, uh, I learn by heart. <clears throat> All right, and then of course there's a note there to add vocabulary for Wheelock 24 to 25. That's uh, completely optional. Um, the whole, this whole course, everything you're quizzed on, will be from first year Latin. Um, I just have this, I just have these notes in here, making this correspond to Wheelock's grammar. In case you know, if, if you've been fought, if in the past people have used Wheelock's grammar, they can easily line it up with this text. So you can ignore all those notes referring to Wheelock. All right. Um, Pause the video, do your translations, come back for the uh, corrections. And here we go. And the same thing, I'm going to read, I'm not going to read these uh, sentences twice anymore. I'll read through the sentence once and then I'll translate it. Negawit se umquam noam evaracum nawagawissa. So he denied that he, so that say, remember, will always refer back to the subject. He denied that he had ever sailed to New York. He denied that he had ever sailed to New York. So you can see um, 
since the main verb is past tense and the infinitive nawagawissa is perfect tense, the action of nawagawissa is before the main verb, so he denied that he had ever sailed to New York. Two, Gaudemus teod nos tam multa totian scribera. So, we rejoice that you, te, and now that's going to take an accusative, uh, it is an accusative, it will now take an infinitive as its verb. We rejoice that you write to us so much, so many things so often. Tom Multa, so many things, Totians, so often. Three. Noster vicus positus in vale pulcra altissimis montibus uh, undiqua contenator. So, our village, contenator, uh, is surrounded, undiqua, on all sides by high mountains, positus in vale pulcra, positioned in a beautiful valley. So, placed in a beautiful valley, our uh, village is contained on all sides by high mountains. Four. Ergo cross mater tibi nullum pecunium davit. So therefore, tomorrow, mother will give no money to you. Five. Quid es melius quam sic essa ut sumus. Now this is an interesting one. Uh, the first part is, is easy. What is better? Quid es melius. Quam than Seek essa, so to be, ut sumus, as we are. What is better than to be as we are? Uh, eight. De te et francisca cotidie magus et magus cogito. I learn, cogito, more and more, magus et magus, about you and Francesca daily. And then you can read a little bit about Latin culture there with the Columbaria uh, on the next couple pages, but uh, that'll do it for lessons 91 and 92.